Hello dear friends. So here I am again. Yeah, here's my recap from the meetup in Sweden that I visited recently. In German we say better later than never. Yeah, so excuse me for the for the delay. Yeah, but it was very busy here at home. <laughs> so yeah, I I will attach a film. I was too shy to make interviews. I only made one uh, with a guy that had a 3D printed robot. So <clears throat> in Sweden I met lots of interesting uh, people that I didn't know personally before. For instance, Tjörborg Ludvigsen, he's the creator of the hang printer. Then I met Daniel Noré, then Anton Manson, Thomas Sandladera, and Simon Sörensen. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. <laughs> so we went uh, skateboard riding together. I told him prior to the trip that I uh, liked the, the new off-road uh, skateboard a lot that he showed off in one of his videos. And he told me, oh, I'm going to bring it along and we can, we can go for a ride. And I did so. <laughs> it was really nice. Then I also met uh, Joe, aka 3D Maker Noob. Uh, his wife Heather was there too and their lovely daughter uh, Kate. So I also met the guys from E3D Online which are Sanjay, Gregory and Claire. Yeah, so we were hanging out together in the evening which was very nice, really lovely people. I also met Paul Sohier and Palco which I also have a small YouTube channel like mine. Then I'm uh, I met a guy from Creative Tools. His name is Thomas Palm. He gave me some flexible filament. Yeah. Then I also bought some uh, filament here from Ad North. I was looking very much forward to doing so because they they also got into the master spool system, uh, only selling these coils. Yeah. yeah. So here it is. I will put it on the <coughs> master spool and let you know how it prints. It's, uh, it's a gray, it's not shiny, so I think it will show off very nicely. Then I got, uh, I wanted to buy a full spool, but they didn't have it anymore uh, on display. So I just got a, some rest that they had. And it's called uh, Amphora Red Metallic, really cool color. And I bought some silver filament from 3D Prima. Yeah, and a nozzle from a company, a very tiny company, and it's called uh, GDS Boutiquen. Yeah, it's not a hardened one, but it seems to be polished on the inside. So looking forward to testing that one out. Yeah. Oops, <laughs> excuse me so much. And um, yeah, here's the, the flexible filament that I got, okay, some samples. Yeah, I've never printed with flexible before, so I'm eager to test that. And I also got a body scan of myself uh, done by a guy called Teddy Larson. Yeah, I will upload a video once I've printed myself. <laughs> it's really cool to see yourself, you know, as a 3D scan. Yeah, I was a very friendly guy. And there were lots of creators there, you know, lots of people with their own printers. Yeah, and it was really cool. Yeah, so I will definitely be there again next year. It's it's a nice meetup, yeah. And uh, what from what I have heard, uh, the last last year it was only half of the size. They doubled this year, and I think by next year it may be d double as as big as it is as it was this time. Yeah. So, yeah, really nice. Okay, so one thing I almost forgot is I also bought a Titan. I'm going to put that on my magician. Yeah, and uh, then the la one last thing here is I never printed with a marble filament. It's also a rest I got from a company called, I have to read off my computer here, Grotten SE. So it's a, a filament from a company called uh, Torwell marble filament. Yeah, so yeah, I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Okay, so enjoy the small film that I've attached and yeah, hope we will meet there maybe next year. Would be lots of fun, yeah, just to, to, to see you there personally. Okay, bye bye, like always.
Um, hi everyone, um, I'm Sanjay from E3D. We are presenting just over there, or dressed in blue. We are manufacturers of hot ends, extrusion systems, extruders, whatever you want to call them. Um, we manufacture hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these things. Um, we are also, our main thing that we're showing off today is a new type of 3D printer that we've developed which is in many ways a first of its kind and it's a tool changing 3D printer. Um, in other words, it picks up a print head automatically and it prints with that print head, puts it back and then picks up another one. Uh, at the moment our printer holds four print heads and we will be hopefully increasing that in the future. Um, but the real thing that I want to get across is it's a real step change in what we're able to do with a 3D printer because it's not just about colors and it's not even just about multiple materials but it's about having application specific heads that we can pick up as we require them in a software defined way. So we're going to be able to use nozzles of multiple sizes and a single print extruders of different types, so we might have hardened steel nozzle, a carbon fiber reinforced materials, a very specific highly constrained extruder for flexible materials, and we can combine them all along with soluble support in a single print. And we might even be able to go on and subsequently perform actions that are not additive with FDM. Uh, we might be able to perform subtractive applications with print heads that remove material, either by mechanical means, by cutting, or with lasers and so on. Um, and we also hope to be able to introduce a lot more print heads that can do a lot more cool things like inspection, measurement, in place and components mid build fully automatically. And we'll be talking about all of this at three o'clock in room two. <laughs> Repeatability, which was about three to five, and tool changer. And that's in X, Y, and Z. It's great. <laughs> it's like, I guess when you came back to work in the morning, you were like, did it change? So the winner of this competition is Andreas Tiebenu. Right, so, as before, the, oh, the, it's a Flash Forge Finder. That's the uh, prize for the day. And we'll have another design contest tomorrow. And uh, for tomorrow, the, the, um, the theme is that to design a product or something that will uh, apply to a broad audience. It's pretty, uh, it's not as such a narrow theme as today, but it's such a, something that will attract a wide audience. Uh, we'll put details on the website and we'll also upload a photo of his snakey um, bird.
Det är samma. 